I got pregnant when I was 22 years old. Reese Witherspoon is getting candid about becoming a mom at a young age. The Oscar winner detailed how she juggled motherhood in the early years of her career during an appearance on The Drew Barrymore Show. She admitted that she was terrified when she got pregnant at 22. I didn't know how to balance uh, work and motherhood and we just, you just do it, you know? I, I didn't know if I was going to have steady work too. I wasn't a popular, like I made movies, but I hadn't, you know, established myself as someone who could demand that it shoot close to my kid's school or, you know, I didn't have any real, um, power or leverage within my industry. So I think I'm just, it was just like every other mom trying to figure it out and dad out there and partner and grandparent who's raising a child. There's a lot of, first of all, compromise. You take the food out of your mouth, the clothes off your back, the sleep out of your life. Reese now has three kids who each have a striking resemblance to their mama. The A-list actress shares daughter Ava and son Deacon with ex Ryan Philippi. She and husband Jim Toth also have a son named Tennessee. The Legally Blonde star's oldest child turned 21 in September 2020. Reese celebrated the occasion on Instagram, writing, Happy birthday to my sweet girl who has become the most incredible young woman. Her kindness, her compassion, and her huge heart never cease to amaze me. During the interview, Reese also explained to Drew Barrymore how her children have inspired her to speak out about social justice issues. Someone, I don't know, somewhere I read, if you're not talking about race and class and wealth inequality and um, social issues with your children, they're talking about it with somebody else. And, and that hit me very profoundly because this is the world they're inheriting. And if we don't take our positions of um, influence or whatever your influence is, you know, whether you're the principal at a school or you're the, um, you know, the, the head of your book club, you have a power to influence thoughts and ideas. And that's why I love books as well, because Books have changed my life by going absolutely nowhere. I, I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee, and I just lost myself in a book. And it, it made me see like, I felt like I could see the world. I could see other people's opinions. I could see where people lived a completely different experience than me. So I would say books are the antidote to bigotry and, and um, small thinking.